Hello and welcome to the Astrology and Spirituality Overview Show for Friday the 12th of February. Alisa, what cards have you chosen today? Today we're using the Rider Waite Tarot cards. Um, I absolutely adore working with these cards. They're very um, old. Um, but for us, this is a new pack. Yes, for us this is a new pack and we haven't used these woo, on Whoa. the channel. Okay, one just flew out <laughs> and it is the Magician. So the Magician, I, I love this card because on his table he has um, a sword, he has a wand, he has some coins and he has a cup. Um, so he has all the suits of the tarot deck on this table. So he's the alchemist in He's way. the alchemist and he has this lemnus gate above his head which is this number eight which represents uh, infinity, expansion. So he's kind of like a chef working with all these different flavors and spices to try and create something new. Sometimes it won't 100% work out, sometimes it'll be fantastic. But the great thing Sounds is... Sounds like my cooking. <laughs> well, your cooking's brilliant. You know, he's trying, Always. you know, to progress, to move forward. And that's a really positive energy. He's in no means in a slump. But he's trying to conjure up the best of what he's got. So yeah. whatever our circumstances, it's saying, look, bring a flash of inspiration into it. So this is a really exciting card then to manifest things. Yeah, definitely to bring things into uh, our existence, our reality. It might be, um, tarot can be used as sort of a daily dose of inspiration for us. You know, if we do have some tarot cards at home, maybe just pull one card a day, put it on our little altar or sideboard or something. And that can be sort of a reminder of something we're working towards that day. I like to use tarot as that personal development tool rather than, you know, some kind of uh, very left field spiritual uh, thing, although yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. But we can definitely use it in a practical sense and the magician is very practical. So when you say personal development, what do you mean by that, that we can keep gaining from the message to realign how we're approaching something. Exactly, that's perfect, yes. Yeah. So say, for example, we pulled the four of coins, the four of pentacles in the morning. Um, that kind of reflects to us that we're feeling a bit apathetic. We might feeling, not want to get out of bed. We don't want to get out of bed. We're lethargic. We're not seeing the positives. We're kind of stuck in that stupor. But we pulled that card, and we know that's where we're at. And it's about working through that process. And every time we see that card in the day, we can choose to stick with that or to change it in some way. That's brilliant. Well, the moon today is in Pisces. It just moves into Pisces around about midday Universal Central Time. So Pisces, of course, is a dual sign in the sense that uh, its co-ruler is Jupiter. And Jupiter is actually going to be moving into Pisces this year uh, for... Uh, uh, about three and a half months from mid-May to the end of July and then the last three days of the year. But it's only going to get up to about one degree in Pisces and that's where the Moon starts its journey at midday Universal Central Time today. But also, some people have been writing in the saying that there's been quarrels with friends, there's been stresses and strains. Why is that? A lot of tension, feeling very inhibited and blocked. It's all about Saturn square Uranus. These are the two co-rulers of Aquarius and they're at odds with one another through the first seven months of this year and then the last five weeks. Why is it repeated? Simple, because both these planets will go into big retrogrades. But if we think that Saturn is about resistance, boundaries, limitations, discipline, um, making sure that we're uh, taking care of our responsibilities, and Uranus is very much more free-spirited. It's about living out our individuality. But it's in its full in the sign of Taurus. And of course, Taurus can be about the more worldly realm. So I feel that that sense of limitation we're all feeling from COVID and being locked in in some parts of the world because of uh, trying to limit the transmission of the, of the disease, that's one manifestation of that. But also maybe it's the Aquarius energy that's so strong at the moment in our chart is asking us, in our world chart, is asking us to think about how we can be more collective, whereas the energy of Mars and Uranus and Taurus are thinking, no, it's about the money, it's about the practicalities. So it's creating a resistance. And we're also seeing, sadly, 
some repression around the world politically because people want to limit people's right to have a voice, which is very Aquarius. So that's why we're feeling this sort of mass stress because it's almost like if you have Mars and, and Saturn in a conjunction, that can be like trying to drive with the handbrake on. Any Saturn influence on the sun can be the same. But on Uranus, that really creates a kind of ragged nervous energy, I feel, because Uranus could be argued to be linked to the nervous system along with Mercury, which is exalted in Aquarius and, of course, is currently retrograde in Aquarius. And that's causing another pinch point, And that recently has been squaring up to Mars. So the same uh, second 11th house angle. So the second house about resources, self-worth, the 11th house, how we connect to others. And that may be where there's been some disagreements, some arguments, or a lot of personal frustrations for many of us. Mm -hmm. But with that magician card, there is such a wonderful opportunity to make the most of what we have the resources at our disposal. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. If you would like to read your daily horoscope, you can find that in the description box beneath this video. We'd also be really honored if you haven't subscribed already to click or tap on that notification bell so that you get alerted every time we drop a new video. But for now, from the A-Team, it is... Goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from her. Goodbye. goodbye.